Here it is. Everything you ever wanted to know about grooming your husky and keeping his coat looking great, brushes and brushing, bathing and shampoos, coat health, and I even have included a recipe for a solution should your husky get sprayed by a skunk this summer. It's all contained here for you in one informative article. For those of you new to husky ownership, you need to know how to look after your husky's double coat. Double coated dog breeds have two layers to their coat, a soft fine insulating undercoat to keep them warm in the winter and a longer weatherproof top coat consisting of guard hairs that actually grow up through the undercoat. This undercoat should never be allowed to become matted or it loses its ability to insulate your dog leaving it to get very cold. The outer coat of a husky is very waterproof to help keep their bodies dry in snow or rain. The husky coat also pretty effectively repels most dirt and mud. When the mud dries, it just brushes off the fur. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The Secret Training Technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Never clip or shave. For snow dogs, there is no clipping or trimming of the fur required. As a matter of fact you should never shave or clip your husky thinking that you are helping him to stay cool in the summer. Once he has shed out his undercoat, his guard hairs are designed to create an air pocket of protection from both the UV rays and heat of the sun. Some huskies may develop skin problems after having all of their fur shaved off. It is also possible for the top coat and the undercoat to grow back unevenly in patches. Shedding A husky's thick undercoat is generally released SLOWLY with the onset of the seasonal warm weather, in climates where there is an obvious season shift in temperatures, and is a major source of headaches for husky owners. The process of casting off, blowing, their undercoat can easily last up to six weeks or longer. It is possible for one husky to fill up trash bags full of cast-off hair during every shedding season. This cast-off undercoat tends to stick to soft surfaces like furniture and clothing so invest in lots of lint rollers and a good vacuum cleaner because you will be picking up a lot of dog hair when you own a double-coated snow dog. Brushing Generally speaking, huskies and malamutes require very little grooming beyond having to rake out the ridiculous volumes of shed-out fur. They do not have an excessively oily coat so regular bathing to combat dog odor is not required. Bathing is only essential if they have rolled in something smelly or gotten exceptionally dirty. During the non-shedding season only short weekly brushing sessions are needed to keep their coat shiny and healthy looking. Regular brushing stimulates the skin to produce some natural oils that are good for the coat. Feeding your husky a good diet rich in omega fats will also help to keep his coat and skin healthy. The tools for the job of grooming Undercoat rake An undercoat rake is, as the name implies, a rake with long teeth set widely apart. It is used to remove the insulating undercoat that is ready to be shed out from a double-coated dog. The rake is designed to move effortlessly past the outer guard hairs and get down to where the loose undercoat hairs are located. Undercoat rakes are inexpensive and can be found anywhere that pet supplies are sold. To remove the dead undercoat, just begin raking, alternating some strokes going with the direction of the fur and some strokes going against the fur to lift up the guard hairs allowing better access to the undercoat. Begin brushing when your dog shows signs of shedding and don't stop until the fluffy undercoat has all been removed. Furminator Not everyone will agree on using a furminator brush. Some people feel that it cuts the guard coat hairs. I have been using a Furminator brush for a number of years and my husky's guard hairs are undamaged. 
I think the issue with these brushes is that people do not tend to use them correctly and they do not use the correct Furminator brush for their longer coated dogs. Shedding and Stripping Blades Stripping and shedding blades should not be used on the longer more dense coated husky. This tool cannot reach down beyond the guard hairs to the undercoat. This tool is designed to be used with short coated dogs and is not an effective tool for shedding husky fur. Removing the dead undercoat Once the cold weather is gone, your husky will shed his dense undercoat to help him stay cool in warmer weather. All the dead fur must be brushed out so that the dog can feel more comfortable and cool but also, removing the dead fur helps prevent matting and assures effortless regrowth of the undercoat with return of cooler seasonal temperatures. Bathing Huskies Huskies do not have a very oily coat so that means that they really do not have any of the usual doggy odor that is associated with an oily coated dog. That also means that your husky will only require a minimal number of baths annually. In fact, you really should not bathe your husky too often because it will dry out their fur and their skin. Unless your husky has gotten especially muddy, filthy, waded into fetid water, or rolled in something horrid and smelly, or has fleas, you really don't need to bathe your husky more than once or twice a year. Many huskies if given the opportunity love to snow bathe. They flip over onto their backs and wiggle and roll around in the snow. This helps to keep their fur nice and clean with the help of mother nature. An important thing to note, brush your husky out well before you bathe him as a husky undercoat saturated with water cannot be brushed out while it is wet. Also, wet matted undercoat does not dry very well or quickly and can cause your husky to get skin rashes or hot spots so do not leave your dog with wet matted fur. Shampoo Huskies do not require any special conditioning shampoos because their hair is not so long that it tangles like other very long-haired breed dogs. You may want to find the most organic shampoo that you can find for your dog just because you do not want to use harsh shampoos on your dog. Once the dog's coat is completely dry, brush them again using the undercoat rake to remove any more dead fur released through the washing and drying process. I hope this video has helped you all a lot and get out to know more about how to groom your dog. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.